It's a pleasure to meet you and, and to talk about this film. Uh, it's quite exciting to be part of a project like that. So first of all, tell us how you met Alfonso Cuaron, how did everything go? Of course, um, I was called by the casting director, Luis Rosales, to, to do an audition for a movie, but I didn't know who the director was going to mm -hmm. be. So um, I just went ahead and do it, and it was different from other auditions because they really only wanted to see who I was, mm -hmm. like for me to speak about my life and where I came from, and, and that was it. And then um, time passed, a month or so, and then they called me again, and then I did a little scene that they gave me when I got there, and at the end of that scene, they told me who was going to be the director of the film. Okay, so you so didn't was, know from the no, beginning. No, I didn't know. Yeah. So it was like, oh, wow, really, I was really surprised, impressed, um, shaking all over my body. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then they told me that uh, that night they would tell me if I was going to meet Alfonso or not. So that night they called me and, they, I, and then I did another audition with Alfonso. And then time passed again. Mm -hmm. It was long. It, it was a long process, but at the end, um, it ended with Alfonso inviting Jalitza and me to be part of his film, very personal film, film for him. So it was a really thrilling moment yeah. for, for both of us. Yes, not only because he's such a talented filmmaker, because those characters are great female characters uh, presented in the film. So how did you approach her? You know, you play the mother and mm -hmm. uh, she's quite multi-layered she changes her moods a lot and uh, she's very <laughs> motivated by her background so yeah. how did you imagine her in your head well i was i had this meeting with alfonso that he told me everything that she had lived mm. just to the point that we were going to start the film i really didn't know what was going to happen with her uh, i was i was um learning this day by day mm. and well she told he told me stuff that had she had lived, but then he said, just trust that mm. she's within you and, and she will come. You, it, sh you, you have her inside of you, so don't do a lot. Just let it be. And so the work was mostly that, just trusting and let the situation go through me. Not really like building a character with such and such um, characteristics. It's just like, let it be. Yeah, exactly. Live mm -hmm. her. Uh -huh. yeah. Live her. Did he share how personal the characters were to him, how close to reality they actually are written? Well, yeah, I knew. I knew, of course. He was talking about his mother, his family, his brother and sisters, his nanny. Mm. And um, I, I knew this, so it was like, I was really nervous about that. But, but I, some, in, at some point, I just... Forgot about that. Forgot about that. I just said, okay, I know it's his mother, but I'm not gonna think about that because I, if I think about it, it's gonna be like really scary. So <laughs> let's just act. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How difficult is it to recreate the '70s uh, in Mexico? Well, I I was a, a child in the late '70s and mm -hmm. in the early '80s. So I also did like my research inside of my head, like remembering, uh, remembering. Mm -hmm. it just I thought that Alfonso did that work, so I said I'm gonna do it too, and I just like went back to my memories, and it was, it was really um, surprising to to see that I had it in me, and mm -hmm. everything I saw that in the set and in the house and in the streets, just like it was like a flash of something I lived. Mm -hmm. and it was it was really. Um, moving. Yeah, and, and the 70s are a, a very, I mean, the movie is in black and white, but they're, they're a very memorable period, you know, mm -hmm. every prop, every single object probably yes. was on the set, all those scars must have been quite exciting. Yes, the, the fashion, yes. especially her, you know, she's a glamorous mm -hmm. social woman. Yeah, and yeah. The, the toys, the toys were like really, when I saw them, it was like, whoa, like suddenly all my childhood came back. Mm -hmm. And finally, tell us about Alfonso Cuaron. After having worked with him, what do you think makes him such a uniquely talented filmmaker? Well, I think he knows what he wants, and he's gonna he's gonna work really hard so it so he can really get what he's imagining, or in this case, what is what is in his memory. Uh, sometimes we we worked a lot in some scenes. We did like really really a lot of takes, and in others he knew 
like right away that it was done mm. and that w it was very few takes. So I think he really knows what he wants and that makes him sort of a magician, I think.